Listen to what the polls are saying about Kamala Harris and Donald Trump's support after the debate. This is CBS. Headlines come and go, but let me tell you this. Support for former President Trump is real and resilient. Mm -hmm. I encountered that everywhere I went. And that's something the Harris campaign knows, recognizes, a fact in Michigan. Support for Donald Trump is real and resilient. Support for former President Trump is real and resilient. Yeah. I mean, that's an under that's an understatement during the debate. Look at the Fox business was playing uh, this clip of the meters. You know, people, they have the dials. They get a bunch of people in a room. Some of them are Democrats. Some of them are Republicans. Some of them are independents or moderates or undecided voters. And they each have a dial and the Republicans have a dial. And when they hear something they like, they crank it up and a red line skyrockets. And when Republicans hear something they don't like, they crank it down and the red line shoots down to the ground. Same thing with the Democrats. The Democrats, when they hear something they like, they turn the dial one way and boom, the blue line goes up. And then when they hear something they don't like, they turn and the blue line goes down. Nobody cares. We know what the Republicans are gonna like. We know what the Democrats are gonna like. Everybody wants to know about the yellow line, the moderates, the independents, the undecided voters, those who are neither Republican nor are they, are they Democrat? They're not Donald Trump supporters, nor are they Kamala Harris supporters. They don't know who they're supporting. I don't know where they've been for the last four years, but whatever. When Donald Trump was speaking during one part of the debate, the red line skyrocketed and right on its tail, right behind it was the yellow line. And these people on Fox Business were like, whoa, that is... That is wild. Red is the Republican. I'm going to say yellow must be independent. Mm -hmm. Blue must be Democrat. Wait a minute. That yellow independent line is moving Republican. The blue line is flattening it. Wait a second. Holy cow. So independence, that's very interesting. Independence, um, they thought Trump did pretty well. I mean, independents thought Trump did really well because he did. And this isn't the first time we've seen something like this. It happened before. Listen. It's exactly what we saw in 2016. In 2016, we saw the independents went lock and step with Republicans the entire time with Donald Trump. He did not have that in 2020. We didn't see it at all. Mm -hmm. We saw it again now, and I think it's a big difference. There's pe something that people don't understand is that more than 68% of Americans want change from how things are right now. Peter Ducey's right. People don't want the status quo. She's changed her slogan to moving forward because that's what people want. But how does she represent change? She hasn't answered that question. And I think it's a really big problem for her. people want to go back to the way things were under Donald Trump. They felt better. The economy was better. Uh, immigration felt better. A lot of things felt better to them. So they're ready to go back. Yeah, yeah, ready to go back to 2016. Now, this is important because in 2016, we were coming off of eight years of Barack Obama. And everybody was ready for a change. Eight years of Barack Obama. And everyone said, Hillary, no thank you. We'd like a big heaping uh, helping of Donald Trump's economic policy and his border philosophy and his uh, nationalism. We would like to put America first for a little while. And what's happening now is Kamala Harris is the incumbent. She, whether she likes it or not, no matter how much she wants to tell people, I'm not the incumbent, we're moving forward, I'm not Joe Biden, we all know the fact that we know the truth, Susan Rice has told us over and over again. Kamala Harris has been an integral architect and executor of the policies of the Biden-Harris administration. Which means everything wrong in this country is Kamala Harris's fault. And we don't want four more years of that. We would like to go back to 2016. And the independents want to go back to 2016. And that's why that dial is shooting up. And the yellow line, and it looks like mustard and ketchup, just, you're just going up together um, into the stratosphere. And it's very, very exciting. Mika Brzezinski from Morning Joe on MSNBC, had herself a real one. She had a conniption fit. She just can't understand after that debate performance. She just doesn't get it. That's literally her quote in this, in this I'm about to play it for you. She looks at this polling. She looks at this information coming out of the post-debate polls. She's looking at the independents. She's looking at the undecided. She's looking at Donald Trump. She's looking at Kamala Harris, and she can't understand it. Voters said they were glad she has a tax and economic plan, but they want to know how it will become law when Washington is so polarized. They know she wants to give assistance to first-time home buyers, but doubted that it was realistic. And Jeremy, I ask you, is their answer Donald Trump? 
because <laughs> I guess I guess I, I I see the questions. I think there was only so much that she could do in that debate in order to be as effective as she was. And, and I agree. There are a lot more questions. Of course, I would love to ask Kamala Harris about her leadership style and her plans and how she plans to execute. But are those undecided voters saying, I'm going to stick with, I'm going to kind of lean Trump here because I want change? I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't are they were leading with Trump because they want change? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. She doesn't get it. Mika Brzezinski doesn't get it. She doesn't understand. She literally just reported the story. The story is that these voters, these independent voters, heard what Kamala Harris said. They heard her saying $50,000 for first time home buyers. Woohoo! Double the chi- child tax credit. Yeehaw! They heard all that and they loved it. They liked it. They were like, $50,000 to go buy a home? Man, with Barack Obama, all they promised me was a free cell phone. You're giving me 50 Gs? That's fantastic. They heard it. They liked it. But they don't believe it. They don't think she can do it. They think she's lying to them. Why? Because she's lying to them. They've And they've seen it for four years. They've seen it for four years. They saw Joe Biden tell the CDC during COVID, tell everybody who owns an apartment building or owns a single family home or owns any kind of dwelling, a condominium, they are not allowed to evict somebody who doesn't pay their rent because it's a national emergency. And the CDC said, sir, we don't actually have that kind of authority. And Joe Biden said, don't, don't worry about it. We'll do it until they tell us not to. And so the CDC put forward an eviction moratorium until it went all the way to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court said, you can't do that. And then Joe Biden said, okay. And he did it again. And then the Supreme Court said, okay, now you're just annoying us. Now we're really, when he tried to pay off student loan debt and Donald Trump brought this up in the debate, he said, I'm going to pay off your student loan debt. And all the people with student loans were like, yay, Joe, thanks so much. And guess what happened? Turns out it's illegal. It's unconstitutional. It doesn't fall within the purview of the executive branch of government. Joe Biden was doing another eviction moratorium. Only this time, he wasn't doing it with your rent. He was doing it with your your student loan, your crippling student loan debt. He couldn't do it either. Well, the first time, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. Here comes Kamala Harris, who is the architect and the executor of everything that happened during the Biden-Harris administration. And she's saying, oh, guess what I'm going to (laughs) do? You thought that student loan debt thing was cool. I'm going to give you $50,000 to buy a home. I'm going to double your child tax credit. And all of these independent, undecided, moderate voters are going, that sounds awesome. We don't freaking believe you because we were fooled before with the eviction moratorium and we were fooled again with the student loan debt. And now we know you're lying through your teeth, lady. You are lying to us to get our vote. So yeah, it sounds great, but we don't trust you.